Guys, I want you to meet the new head for the Swedish National Heritage Board, responsible for conserving Swedish culture and heritage. Let's see who this guy is, shall we? So everyone, meet Kaisar Mahmud. He is 44 years old and he was born in Lahore, Pakistan. And he has now been appointed uh, as the head of the Natural Heritage Board in Sweden. And um, let's, uh, I think we, sh we should look into a little bit further in his qualifications, whether this guy is actually qualified uh, to uh, preserve Swedish culture or not, because I think that's quite an important issue at hand, don't you think? Let's, let's explore a little bit here. The Natural Heritage Board in Sweden is uh, tasked with preserving Swedish culture and heritage. You know, things like uh, rune stones, uh, medieval churches, uh, folk costumes and so on. You know, preserving historical Swedish culture for future generations. Which is a good thing to do, you know? Um, so this guy that Sweden has now put in charge of, um, of leading this actually openly admits that he knows nothing about Swedish culture or heritage and he, he doesn't even have a degree in, in anything of this at all. Um, typically a person with a degree in archaeology or something like that would, would have this position. But no, this guy has no such degrees at all. Now if you look at Mahmoud's uh, CV, uh, we see here uh, that his education consists of um, 60 points, uh, uh, political science, uh, 40 points, uh, social economics, uh, 40 points, uh, films, uh, film science, uh, 20 points, economic history, 10 points, uh, practic practical rhetoric, and 10 points, Arabic. So this is the CV of the guy who is supposed to preserve Swedish culture. But Mahmoud has uh, previously contributed uh, to the Natural Heritage Board with a report on diversity. Uh, he did a report on multiculturalism and uh, diversity and so on uh, in, in a National Heritage Board. So, I mean, that, that, that's, that's all. That, 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 that's, how we got, that, that's how we got in there back in 2011 when he, when he, when he was first uh, appointed uh, to work there and, and now he's become the chief. And to make matters worse, this guy was on Swedish radio a few years ago where he coined the term cultural heritage washing. And he said that people are concerned with uh, preserving Swedish culture and heritage um, that they can, quote, uh, hide uh, questionable motives. And he also goes on to say that if you Google uh, Swedish culture, uh, you get up pictures of rune stones, uh, medieval churches, uh, folk costumes, and also, f and also you find people that uh, uh, are, quote, resistant to change. Uh, you know, in other words, people who don't want the modern culture Marxist uh, to take over, they want, uh, tra you know, they are traditionalists, they want to preserve Swedish culture, and this guy thinks apparently it's a bad thing. And, you know, a reminder here that this guy has said that he knows nothing about Swedish culture, uh, and um, then he says things like this. This guy doesn't really seem to be the kind of right candidate to be tasked with preserving Swedish culture. This guy doesn't seem like he really cares anything at all about Swedish I mean, this guy doesn't seem like he cares anything at all about Swedish culture, so why on earth are I appointing him to preserve Swedish culture? What is Sweden doing to itself? I mean, why? It seems like someone is trying to replace Swedish culture and heritage with uh, something else. They don't seem to be concerned about this at all. And I mean, there's been alarms or reports of, um, of, of people in Sweden, uh, instead of preserving, you know, old Viking artifacts, actually sending them to be melted down into uh, copper and bronze and so on. Uh, total madness. So, uh, I mean, why? It seems like Sweden is intent on replacing itself. I mean, why is Sweden so intent on seemingly wanting to replace itself. You know, they're trying to replace their own culture and heritage and history with, with who knows what. And, um, you know, according to several studies, uh, the population of Sweden is uh, changing as well. You know, a Pew Research uh, survey recently showed that, uh, that, 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 that quite soon Swedes uh, might be a minority in their own country. And if you look at the 1998 generation, for example, of all people born in 1998 in Sweden, uh, about 50,000 uh, of them were born in Sweden. 
and about 50,000 of, uh, of them uh, actually came as migrants to Sweden. Uh, so already the 1998 generation, we are having a uh, almost seeing a kind of tendency here that there are more migrants than than there are Swedish people. I mean, there are still more Swedish people in Sweden, but uh, all the surveys done by professional uh, survey companies, you know, like Pew, uh, shows the trend that uh, the Swedish people are quite quickly becoming a minority in their own country, and uh, then they are willingly trying to replace their own culture and history like this, it doesn't just it just doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, wh why are they doing this? I think it's... Uh, why are the Swedish people just marching on like this and accepting, you know, accepting, accepting the politicians replacing their culture, uh, getting rid of their history? You know, I think it's, I think it's a lot down to do with the Swedish people. They are very dependent on the state. You know, Sweden is a very communist country. Uh, a lot of people in Sweden, uh, the state is is their god. For many Swedish people, the state is the most important thing. They say yes, sir, to everything that uh, the state tells them to do. And I think that's why so many pe so many Swedish people are brainwashed and don't realize, you know, what's going on. You know, there's the rape crisis in Sweden, there's a bombing crisis, and there's even a shooting crisis. I mean, crime is just escalating to a ridiculous level in Sweden and people don't really seem to know or want to do anything, you know, they're still voting for the same for the same politicians. Um, you know, if you look at the country just uh, just to the west of Sweden, look at Norway. In Norway, the people are much more libertarian, much more small state. You know, Norwegians, they hate the government. They they don't want the government they don't want the government meddling in any business at all. And uh, so the politicians in Norway, they know if uh, if they mess up the Norwegian people aren't going to tolerate it, they're going to vote for someone else. So the politicians in Norway, they make sure to not mess up. So, um, yeah, you might have noticed, by the way, uh, that my Swedish flag has gone down and I put up the Norwegian flag behind me. As you know, I've moved to Norway and, uh, I mean, maybe it's just time to move on from Sweden now. I still have my Swedish flag here, but uh, at, for, the time, for the time being, I've got my Norwegian flag up because, to be honest, Norwegian people are much more patriotic and... Uh, seem a lot more sensible. So for the time being, I'm gonna have my Norwegian flag up here. Let me know what you think about that in the comment, guys. And make sure to leave a like, share this video, all over social media. And make sure to follow me on social media as well. Follow me on Facebook, uh, follow me on Twitter for all the latest updates. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And make sure to hit the notification bell to receive notifications whenever new videos come out, whenever I do live streams. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.